What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now if you guys remember from the first video we ever filmed, I always said I wanted to get a new throttle for that. Ever since I got the flex bars, they've been bothering the crap out of my thumb. So sit in my hand, I got the Hermosi throttle. So, as you can see, the quads are on the trailer and we don't really have a very big room because we are going on a ride soon. But look at that, bro. That's pretty sharp, not gonna lie. Looks pretty good. That's the throttle body. That's the throttle. This is the factory edition. I got it in blue. Make it stand out a little bit. And then this is your, these are the internals. It comes with like Allen wrenches and all that good jazz. What else? That's it. So we got a, we got, we're on a time limit. So we're gonna install this real quick and see what she looks like on the bike. She is. So first, we're gonna take the top of the, the cover off. That's that. Take the throttle off. Now you have to disconnect the throttle. We'll do that here in one sec. So first, you gotta disconnect this line. Like so. Unstrap this. I already loosened it earlier. For your boys. Unscrew this all the way. Come on. Here's your throttle cable. Now we're gonna take the throttle off real quick. <sighs> Definitely a lot cleaner than the, grab the other throttle. So even just looking at them without it putting on, this one looks so much slimmer and I could just tell it's already lighter because it literally weighs nothing. But what makes these throttles so special is that the throttle position, it comes down any any length and can adjust on the go. So that's what that's what the whole rage is about them. And they're they're high quality. Robert Ramosi takes pride in what he does, and everything looks super sharp. I was super happy for my first product from them. So we're gonna throw it on real quick. See what it looks like. Just for a little comparison for you there. Just look how much slimmer. Like look how deep this is. Look how shallow this is. It's definitely a lot more cleaner now. Obviously, it's not fully done yet, but just look how like much cleaner that is, and it's a lot slimmer, so it won't be as bulky on the handlebars, but we're about to get this bad boy installed, so let's see what it looks like. So for right now, I'm just going to snug it up on the, on the handlebars, just so we can adjust it later. Now just even seeing it on there, come up here and look. There is literally no, like this was all covered by my old throttle, which is crazy. Just how small this is and it'll look super good. So yeah. So first you want to unscrew both of these little Allen heads and then you want to stick this and the notch needs to go into the throttle body side. This little brass washer there's a notch for it, just push it on in there. This side, the big side, needs to be up, but you might as well hook it while you're there. Like that. And then you're gonna take you're gonna take that with the Allen key. Install the bottom of your throttle. Like so. Don't tighten it. You don't have to tighten it too much. Just tight. And then we'll we'll figure this out. 
So now everything's installed on there. Now we're gonna figure out the height for the throttle. And this is this is all up to you. So this is your part and you don't have to follow me. But we're gonna adjust that with these four set screws here with the tiniest Allen wrench it comes with. So when everything is on and tight, you are gonna back this screw out completely till there is literally no play in here. As you can see, there's no play. But to finally tune it, you actually have to take it out in the woods or start it up. And it's it's Christmas right now and it's late at night. So we kind of can't do that. But when you guys are able to run it and actually tune it, because when you steal the handlebars, it'll, it'll get all funky on you. But that is the throttle. And if you look down here, there is a bunch of different adjusting points for this thing. And that's why I bought the throttle and that's the whole hoot about it. But yeah, just make sure you guys finally tune that throttle so there's no more play. And then when you get out in the woods and start it, you gotta do it then. But that is the Yermosi throttle right there. That's the installation of the Yermosi factory throttle. Now, I didn't film this part, but we took this plate off and we lubed it up. So that is the throttle and I like it. The instructions were super good. They came up very good instructions and there's a lifetime warranty on this thing. And I also have another couple parts. I'm not gonna film because it's kind of explanatory, but that's the, that is the oil cover for like the filter. It's a head cover. And that is an oil dipstick. So we're gonna throw those on. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So that is the installation of the Hermosi Factory Edition throttle. Looks super sharp on the bike. It's good on a Raptor. And again, it's got the adjustable points that everybody's raving about, which I'm super excited to try. Because that's the reason I bought the throttle, because I thought it was cool that it adjusted. That would definitely be nice. And for the little bonus, Got the new CNC cam cover. Got the temperature gauge for the dipstick. But I think that's gonna wrap everything up. I think the next ride, Mandy and Danny are gonna come out with me. Cause I got the duels. We still haven't tried out the duels and already blued because, you know, we were still freaking messing around with it for God knows how long. But I think that is gonna wrap up the video. So I hope this helped you guys out with the throttle. I would definitely recommend it. That throttles. It's definitely super nice. I like it for my Raptor, and I think you would like it for yours too. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Hope y'all take care and ride safe.